Hello, welcome to the Maya Tobel. This is Michael. Today we're going to be looking under the Mesh Display menu and the Conform command. Conform. And you can see this is under the Normals category. So what we're doing here is we're conforming the normals of a particular object. So the normals, in case you're not aware, is referring to the surface direction of an object. To demonstrate this, I'll quickly create a cube, scale it up, hide the grid, and if I go to display polygons, and we can look here at face normals or vertex normals, we'll do face normals first. These little green lines, and I can make those bigger, I go to display again, polygons, normals, size, increase the scale of these lines if we like to. And I can also change the background color, the Alt B command will change the toggle between several background colors. But here you can see that these green lines are indicating the surface direction of these faces. So they're all pointing out in this kind of a perpendicular fashion from the surface. That's telling you the face direction or the normals of that face. Go to display again. I'm just going to break this off. Polygons. And then we have vertex normals. You can see here we have all these points coming off of the vertices as well. And what we're seeing here, if you're not sure what's going on, is imagine that each face, we have a point going this way for the middle of the face and going that same direction for the vertex. So this particular face here, we have one, two, three, four vertices normals pointing up. And then we have the one face normal also pointing up. And then this face has one, two, three, four, and then the face normal all pointing to the left. So that's why they look like a little... Uh, kind of like different directions coming off of a single point, because they are. It's just that they're, these four coming out this way are for this face, these four coming out this way are for that face, and so on. And we can toggle these off by going back to that same menu and just clicking them again, face normals and vertex normals to hide them. Okay, turn my background back to here. So we're talking about mesh display conform. I'm just going to break this off again, just so we don't have to keep going back and forth. So the conform command, you see at the bottom in the help line, when I put my mouse over it, it says, make normals of all selected faces point in a consistent direction. Okay. So they can point in different directions, right? That's what we can imply from that. Just using a simple cube, I can select this face on top, for example. And here you can see below conform, we actually have a reverse command. We can reverse the normal for that face. It turns this kind of black color. That's a good indication. If you ever see any faces or something that are really black like this, typically one good clue that the normals for that particular face or group of faces or that object have been reversed. And you might need to go in here and reverse them again. However, this is one whole object that has one face pointing in reverse to all the other faces. So this might be a not good opportunity for conform. If I click on the object, that has the reversed face, and I can say conform. Well, there we go. That one face gets flipped, and now they're all facing the same direction. Let's say, for example, I have most of my faces reversed. I have one face there that's facing outward. The rest are all facing inward. Click on conform, and now that one remaining face is also facing inward. The reason why you may want a, f a cube like this facing inward, if I make this big, I go inside it, oh, now we're inside a room. So that's so the faces for this cube are all facing inward. If you're going to have a scene set up, for example, where you're inside of a space that needs four walls around it, you can reverse the normals of the cube in there. Now you have an interior space. So this is really handy for especially more complex objects. Let's say, for example, I bring up something more complicated. So here we have this kind of crazy looking shape, some kind of thing. Uh, let's say I grab some faces at random. Let's grab these, or let's grab all these. And we can reverse them, okay? And they also don't have to be all congruent, too. We can grab some random faces over here, reverse those. Maybe we grab some of these, we'll put them back where they were. Grab some down here, reverse those. I'm just kind of hitting the G key to reverse you know, individual faces randomly. There we go. So now I have this scenario where I have all these different faces all pointing in kind of different directions. Again, I could click on conform, and whatever the average, or the majority, I should say, the majority face direction is, it'll make all of them face that same way. Now here you might notice 
the edge softening got a little uh, messed up due to that flip happening, I can simply grab those edges if I need to and go to Mesh Display, Soften Edge. And then click back off of it in Object Mode. There we go, kind of gets rid of that seam through there. So if you have those kind of seams pop up, like you see it, I look at it from a certain direction here, right there. I could just grab the whole object and say Soften Edge, for example which works pretty well with this particular object except for over here. So I'm going to go over here to the inputs under my channel box. That last soft edge command I just did, I'll click it to expand the angle out. I can middle click and drag to adjust the angle of softening. See that? I'll go back and forth. So I'm going to get this to a point where something like, like right there, in my case, around 87 degrees or so, where those hard edges remain hard like I want them to be, but the rest of it is soft. Okay, and as you can see, the conform command has no other options available for it. If you have one singular object, this is important, and the different faces are facing different directions or something, you can click on conform, and it will conform to the majority. Now, let's just say, for example, the majority are reversed in a way that that's not what you actually wanted. So if I hit conform, you know, the rest of it all reverses. as well. Okay, so all the faces are now reversed opposite of the way you want. So now I can click the whole object and just say reverse. And it'll go back to where the whole thing is facing the way I want. So if you ever see where the conform does the opposite of what you want, well, it's still, at least at that point, all of them are facing the same direction. And then you can click on the object in object mode and say reverse. And it'll flip it all back the way you want it. All right. Hopefully that's uh, everything. If I missed anything, please let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, I'd be happy to hear them. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.